is apply for jobs. After doing the research, making sure you've networked, customizing your resume, the other thing that you need to do is now apply for the jobs. Once you've identified the job opportunities and prepared your documents accordingly, the other important thing that you need to do is now follow the process that the employer has laid out for applying for those jobs. So after narrowing down those jobs that you are interested in, now you can look at each one of them and see how the employer expects you to at least apply for those jobs. When it comes to applying for jobs, there are a few platforms that at least you can look to to search for those jobs. You can use LinkedIn, you can use Monster, you can use Indeed, and you can even use Glassdoor to at least help you find those jobs. The good thing about some of these platforms is if the employer expects you to at least apply for the job on their portal, they will link you to that company's website or they will state it clearly that you are supposed to apply through the company's website and there will be a link to take you there. And you can also even use Job Bank to help you at least search for some of those jobs. The good thing about Job Bank is if you go in there and put in your profile, there are employers who will go in there and check for candidates who possibly meet their job description and they will tell you to apply. The other thing that you also need to know is most of these companies use ATS, that's the application tracking system, to help them narrow down candidates when it comes to uh, finding the right candidate for their company. So that's why it is important that you tailor your resume and cover letter to at least meet the specific job that you are applying to. Make sure that the keywords that they are calling out in the job description, you are at least putting them in your particular resume and cover letter so that the ATS system will at least pick you up based on the keywords that they are looking for when it comes to candidates. And when it comes to using platforms like Indeed, Glassdoor, or even Monster, one thing I always advise candidates to also do is, instead of just uploading your resume into the portal, you can take your time and fill your details into the portal. That way, when the system or even an employer comes in there to look for a candidate, your information will not be in there. They will be searching the profile that you have on the particular portal, not just the resume that you uploaded. Because sometimes, based on the format that you have your resume in, it might not be optimized for the eight years. But one thing that you are sure of is, if you put the information into the portal, the system will be able to at least pick the information because they've at least customized it to meet that particular criteria. And whilst you are also on the job search, one thing that you have to also be mindful of is there are a lot of scammers out there. So any job that you see posted there, make sure you do your necessary research to make sure that it's a genuine job before you apply to it. And if somebody is asking you for money before they will consider you for a particular job position, then you know there's a scam somewhere. So just be mindful of that one. It is also important that you are persistent and follow up on all applications that you submit. Always be aware that most of these companies receive a lot of applications. So sometimes if you are really interested in that company, make sure you follow up on the, the application because most recruiters will get back to you to let you know that whether the position is still on hold, whether they are actively looking for a candidate for it, whether you are actually considered for it, or even whether the position has actually been filled. So that if it's time for you to move on, you can move on or if it's time for you to maybe hold on and go for the best you can continue holding on for the best also sometimes following up by a phone call or even an email will demonstrate to the recruiter that you are actually interested in a particular position or even actually interested in the particular company and that might be a positive for you because other candidates might not be doing that however it is important to be respectful and not be overly aggressive when it comes to following up because you can end up turning off that particular recruiter. One email might just be enough. Don't be sending an email every day asking for an update. Now, if you are lucky enough and maybe the jobs that you targeted, one of them ends up calling you. The next stage that we will now focus on is preparing for interview. To prepare for your interview,